Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finest Dawn of War Soulstorm Pro Games inside of East Yorkshire, and today we have a 1v1 on Outer Reaches. Over in the Chaos Corner, we have Defiant 5, and over in the Imperial Guard Corner, we have Toncat. Ah, uh, sucks. Ah, oh, that's a, a mean name. But meanness aside, look at these beautiful. I can get ahead of them and turn around. Look at these beautiful models. They've got backpacks, they've got bits and bobs on them. And the cultists, if I can give you vertigo for a second, where have they gone? Have a look at these bad boys. Sexy motherfuckers. They've got hoods, they've got gas masks, they're doing a little cheer. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Let's see if I can get it back to where the camera was. There we go. Okay, no, actually, no, it wasn't. It was a little bit like that. I'll leave it like that. Okay, so, starting off, um, uh, Chaos players getting a Chaos Lord out, capturing the nearest and dearest, sending out some cultists over. In the wings, we've got an Imperial Guard player. He's also capturing bits and bobs. And he's also got a Kassakin squad out super duper early. Um, notice how these Kassakins have the option of having a Light Flamer, Plasma Gun, and a Melter Gun. These Imperial Guards have got the option of also having a Light Flamethrower and whatnot. Um, Chaos Armory also coming down. What can the Cultists get as well? They can get a Grenade Launcher, Plasma Gun. So nothing super duper special with them. You'll notice in the um, other games that I've done, well, on Monday I'll have uploaded a game where well, I've used a little book. So in the regular Dawn of War Soulstorm games, I've made like a little book where on each page it breaks down all the abilities of each race and unit and stuff. I haven't got round to doing that for the pro games yet, so I don't know all the little intricacies of this game. But on Friday I should have a little... Uh, faction breakdown for the for the uh, for the Space Marine faction. Plan to do a little breakdown video for each uh, faction as the weeks go on. But anyway, well, well, never mind. Friday, we're on Wednesday now, and the Cassigan squads are going to be firing at this Cast Lord. With just look at the soup bowls on his uh, backpack. Brilliant stuff. If you want soup, come talk to the Cast Lord. Uh, Commander squad is going to be having a Psyker joining their ranks. Cast Lord kind of on his own at the moment, but just forcing these dudes back. Yeah. Going to be joined by some Chaos Space Marines who have the option of an Inflamer, Heavy Bolter, Plasma Gun, and a Missile Launcher. Which I do believe in the vanilla game they only have access to Heavy Bolters and... Is it Plasma Guns or Flamers? I can't remember which one, but I know that they can't have Missile Launchers. I'm fairly sure of that off the top of my head. Um... Uh, Tech Priest, Engine C is going to move into this listening post. Um, uh, shooty electric stuff going to come from the Psyker towards the Chaos Lord. Chaos Lord is a bit low on the health. Um, I do believe, ah, there was some Imperial Guard nonsense over here. They've been shot down by these Chaos Space Marines. Uh, Chaos Lord quite low, though. He might be actually taken down if, 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 this, curse play, if this curse player is not too careful. Chaos Lord does go down. That is quite a big deal in uh, Dawn of War Pro your heroes are very very important which is why this command squad was moved over here uh, at the beginning of the game they are your primary detect infiltrated units uh, squad uh, I do believe that in every uh, faction their main hero their, their tier 1 hero does have detect infantry although it's not as good as um, other squads that are primarily designed for it I think it's about 50% of their usual sight radius where they can pick up um, infiltrated units. Got a Raptor squad over here. Notice how they've only got two boys in at the beginning when they first come out. They're just going to capture this post and then probably shimmy and shake somewhere else. Yep, we're going to just gonna jump over here. Listening post has got a, um, a shooty bit upgrade on it. These Cascans have now had a infiltration upgrade on them. These Cask Marines are going to try and ignore them. One model does get taken down. Another model on very low health. Chaos Marines probably haven't noticed them yet. Might not want to stay there for, for too much longer. They've realised now they are going to move back. Um, a Chaos Lord is being built up. Can't really do much until these Cascans have been taken care of. Uh, Chaos Raptors are going to move up and take down this critical location. Critical locations in Dawn of War Pro um, give you more requisition than a regular point. So they, that, they become even more important in this game compared to vanilla. 
listening post. Not able to see these caskins at the moment. Caskins upgrade, uh, upgraded, equipped with some light flamers. The cursed lord is is severely wanted at this moment in time. Um, uh, critical location captured by the chaos player over here and over here. So Imperial Guard player will be moving his squad over to capture that. Uh, cultists are capturing this strategic location over here. Caskins have managed to take down this listening post, but the Cast Lord is now out and is now chasing these Caskins away. What else is going on? What's happened with these Raptors? Have they done anything particularly useful? No. Well, I don't know where they've gone. They've gone somewhere. Ah, they've on auto replenish. And they've managed to capture this critical location. They are ignoring these guardsmen. That's they are going to come out and support this cast lord and the cultists. Cultists with eight members in their team at the moment. They've exploded in some fashion. Guardsmen firing with their grenade launchers. Cast lord being knocked over. Then we've got two psychers and a commissar in the ranks. Cast lord really, really good at melee was able to take a severe chunk out of this commander but he is now running away after the cultists have been blown up to a bajillion million pieces the cast marines are now firing in with their double heavy bolters soon to have an aspiring champion in their ranks aspiring champion very very good in close quarters cast lord retreating to the safety of these raptors these raptors are now four soon to be five in this game to when you are replenishing in combat, you replenish a lot slower than you do when you are out of combat. There's a big shiny going down. Assuming that it's it's good for the guardsmen. Cast Lord think about going into close combat, but deciding against it. These raptors are now going to move in under the flamethrower fire of the Cassigans. Got blown up. Nice little animation where they get blown up and they get sent halfway across the map. There was two raptors going down there. And it all goes quite a little bit. The Imperial Guard player has kind of hemmed the Chaos player in ever so slightly. Got a few plasma generators going on over here. Lots of listening posts and whatnot. Important to keep your relics in this game. If you have a relic, you are able to upgrade your commander. I'm not sure if he's been upgraded at all. I mean, there's been some lightning bolts on the floor, so maybe that is an upgrade for him. We've got a mechanised command being built up over here. This poor tech priest engine seer is left on his own. Listing person is going to shoot at these raptors. They're going to cancel that. And then the tech priest is just going to run in here into listing post. Probably going somewhere else. Chaos player is now pushing out. Chaos lord joining in the Chaos marines. Listing post under the threat of these Cassigans. Ideal for taking out these listening posts. Unhindered. Raptors are going to take down this listening post. Strategic point being taken over by the guardsmen over here. Morale being broken by the Cassicans. They've just threw a grenade by the looks of things. They've been upgraded with a Cassican sergeant. Cultists just chilling here, trying to capture the strategic point. Cassicans have gone back into the invisibility zone. A tainted all specs has been put down. And they are now able to see the Cassicans, but four cultists versus the whole squad. They won't do all that much in the grand scheme of things. These raptors have been pestered by the command squad. They are trying to take care of this plasma generator. They did take on the listening post. They're now going to stop this Imperial Guard player from capturing this critical location. Big shinies on the Cascans, helping them move a lot quicker by the looks of it. They're now capturing the strategic point over on this side. Raptors doing their best to kill the guardsmen, not quite taking out the full squad. What's going on on the base is a mechanised command for the Guardsman player. Gone for tier 2, now going to go for tier 3, Regimental Command. We're now going to go for two desecrated strongholds, one going for tier 2. In this game, if you get a second HQ, it does increase your uh, squad cap. And it also, um, every tier, you're able to uh, upgrade your Lord with one piece of equipment out of two. But if you have two strongholds... Oh, that was unfortunate. That chaos cultist getting zapped by the zapper. Um, Valkyrie shooty bits coming down. 
will have to move these boys out of range. His cult is now just grinning and bearing it. But yeah, if you've got a relic, you're able to buy not one, but two of whichever tier upgrades you want for your Lord. Or HQ unit, I suppose. Curseplate has managed to hold on to his side of the map. But this Cassigan squad, being invisible and also being super speedy, very good harassment, preventing the building of listening posts around the uh, Chaos area. Now the Chaos dudes are invisible. And they're going to engage in close combat with these Cassigans. They're going to push them back, but the Guardsmen are ready with their triple grenade launchers. And now a Hellhound is coming in. Hellhound, very, very good at destroying infantry, heavy infantry and buildings with their fiery napalm. Hence for a big engagement. Hellhound is moving in. Going to throw down a big fiery part of death. Chasing back the Chaos Marines. Cultists are also going to push back a little bit as well. Going to go for some heavy weapon increase. Probably going to look for some missile launchers to help combat this Hellhound. Hellhound now going to chunk through this listing post. We do have a heavy bottle turret coming in for the Chaos player. Hemmed in against his will. We do have Raptors over here capturing the strategic point. Maybe he wants to forget about that strategic point and bring those boys in at some point to help against this Guardsman push which has an air of finality about it. There we go, missile launcher, another missile launcher going in for the Chaos Marines. The morale has been broke. Cultists around the side. Heavy bottle to it doing its best. Trying to focus down this Hellhound. These dudes are just ignoring the base, hoping that they can defend what they have already. This Chaos Temple is going down pretty quickly. Command squad right smack bang up front. They're building another heavy battle turret down here. Chaos Marines doing the best that they can, but the command squad is holding firm. Another pew pew bang bang from the Valkyries are going to come down. Plasma generator it has been blown up. Sad deafness all around. Big explosions. Heavy battle turret not quite being finished as of yet. Yeah, this does look like the Imperial Guard player is going to take the victory here with the Hellhound. Well, he's got double Hellhounds now. One is close to death, but the Cast Marines are being engaged in close combat. Their missile launchers not being proven useful, especially with their morale being broken. The Raptors still over here just chilling, minding their own business. Cast player probably absolutely inundated with trying to defend their base as much as possible with their remaining Chaos Space Marines. And by the looks of it, especially with the area of effect going on here, the uh, desecrated stronghold is going down very, very quickly. Chaos Lord on his way out. Whole squad wipe there. Leaving the Imperial Guard player to just focus down on everything. And absolutely annihilating everything. Okay, well, uh, no point in, in prolonging the inevitable. Uh, it's a fairly quick game, but always nice to see Dawn of War Pro games. I'll put a link in the description uh, for the Discord and the, um, what do you call it, the uh, where you can download the mod, if you so wish. If the uh, games like this pique your interest, I'd love to see uh, more games being uploaded onto the Discord so we can do more casts in the future. So yeah, uh, my name's been Miss Lanchard. Pleasure as always, never chore. I'll see you in a bit. Peace.